Welcome to the David Ofula YouTube channel, the official home of politics, where we cover policy, war, cataclysmic world events, and traverse territory that our peers fear to tread upon. It's inevitable that in each and every single administration there must be a CS who is overperforming and a CS who is underperforming. And unfortunately, usually, the underperformer is the CS of sports. Largely because the respect for the position is very minuscule. We also what happened to Rashid Echesa, he was sent home parking by Uru Kenyatta and he inevitably was replaced by Amina Mohammed. Now Ababu Namwamba might be headed for that same fit. And in this video I want us to look into why trouble seems to be lacking at the doorstep of Ababu Namwamba. But before we get into that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature if politics is something you're passionate about this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to now in all honesty the problems ababu namwamba is facing are not tied down to just one issue but actually several and the first sprang up a little over a week ago when our sportsmen and women went abroad to represent this country and when they came back there was no one to receive them at the jomo kenyatta international airport you can imagine you go abroad you win a gold medal you win bronze whatever it is even if you don't win anything but you did put your best foot forward and in any case we sent you because you won the hits in kenya meaning you are our best option so win or lose you're the best we had and when you're coming back into the country there is nobody there to receive you and i agree this was a very serious flaw on the part of the Ministry of Sports and hopefully moving forward CS Ababu Namwamba will appoint somebody to keep track of the comings and goings of our athletes. But either way I feel this is what kind of opened the Pandora's box because usually in government you'll do one uh, error then suddenly everybody will start paying attention to you like what is this person up to now? Prior to that he was under the radar. This is what blew the case wide open. And after that in comes Chair Gay. There's something he saw and he decided to tweet about it. Here's a tweet and I quote. CS Ababu continues to mismanage our beloved sports into oblivion. How can ministry officials fly first class with their girlfriends to the Olympics in Budapest, Hungary at the expense of our athletes? So according to Chera Gay, Ababu Namwamba went abroad traveling first class with his girlfriend courtesy of the Kenyan taxpayer. Most of our athletes do not even get to fly first class irrespective of where they're going, even if they're gold medalists at times. So that's part of the reason why Chera Gay and others are feeling Ababu Namwamba is losing it. But in my opinion, the only issue here is that it is his girlfriend. If he were to make it official, such that the headlines were reading Ababu Namwamba travels first class with his wife to XYZ the storm would not be as big as when it is girlfriend because now it looks like a game we've seen the president leave the country with the first lady we've seen the deputy president leave the country with the second lady it's only Mudavadi that I've not seen him leave with a wife but I'm sure it has taken place but the magnitude of the statements vary depending on what you're saying if you're living with your girlfriend people don't take it as a very official thing as when you live with your wife so I think it's just a matter of him transitioning that girlfriend to the other side of things but either way that is another thing that has led to a storm at the doorstep of uh, Ababu Namwamba and of course the third storm which goes all the way back to the beginning of his appointment was when he brought in the likes of Churchill Ndambuki I think Radul and Aziad. He hired them into the Ministry of Sports. And he got very big backlash because of Aziad. Mostly because people are saying there's others who are more deserving of the position. Why would he give this young lady? Probably it's because of her looks or something like that. So once he saw the kind of negative impact that their addition to the team is bringing to the ministry, he decided to lay them off all of them together and instead of that solving the problem on my end i think it did solve the problem but for most people it just showcased a case of confusion because why create positions advertise them do the interviews hire the people get blowback and then fire them if truly they were a required asset in the team the blowback on social media wouldn't matter they would still be on doing what they need to do so that impromptu hiring and firing which even some of those people don't understand i had churchill and Amboki saying that uh, he does not understand why or how they were fired but he believes that it was done in the best interest of the country 
So put those three together, that's what is really causing the problem. And for a CS of sports, it's very dangerous to be found doing anything that's contrary with the expectations of the president or the people who have the power to sway the president. Here's the reason why. If you are the CS of a serious ministry like Interior, and let's say you blow it, you do such a bad job, the president will decide to reshuffle. The CS of Interior might be taken to perhaps sports. It's impossible for that to happen. We know Kindiki is the third most powerful in uh, UDA, but for purposes of just putting the narrative across. If you're in a powerful position and they want to punish you, they can take you from whichever ministry, even roads and transportation, and bring you to sports. But if you're the minister of sports, where will they take you that will look like a punishment? If you're the CS of sports and there's a reshuffle, any ministry you're going to is an upgrade to you. If you're going to water and sanitation, roads and transportation, you're going to trade, you're going to interior, defense, whichever ministry you're going to is an upgrade. Which is why usually if the CS of sports is getting things wrong, they get terminated altogether. So I think Ababu Namwamba has some time to recover from this and he needs to do it and do it fast. But it's not a big deal. All he has to do is curb on the excessive traveling, especially with unofficial people. He has the option of uh, making it official. If not, he can just travel on his own capacity or pay for his extra guests to travel from his pocket, not the taxpayer's pocket, and then there'll be no issue there. Also, there needs to be a task force that is entrusted with monitoring the coming and going of our athletes, whether they are disabled, whether they are women, men, or even children, because we have children who represent us uh, across this globe. Anytime they're coming back, let them be received. It's just that simple. Although with Chiragei commenting and Kimani Ishungwa, he's going to be summoned to parliament very soon to go and explain what is happening. And if you're being summoned to parliament, it means you're not yet fired. You're, you're, still, you're still on the job. If you commit atrocities and parliament does not summon you, then you know you're, you're beyond uh, any correction. So time will tell. Let's see how this thing plays out. Now, as usual, guys, that's just my opinion. Do drop me your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. In the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform just head on over to youtube search for david ofula hit the subscribe button you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature if politics is something you're passionate about this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to all right guys adios Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.